Previously on T-Shirt Cheek TV. Look, there's the FedEx guy right there. <laughs> bringing, bringing a big surprise. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> What's Seriously, up? my what is this thing? T-Shirt Cheek. What is up, Prince Squad? I'm back with another video. And do y'all hear that? I got a customer in here. I, I don't think she's happy with, with the situation. Come here. And look, she don't like me when I wear my when I don't have a puff. She be wanting to get away from look. Look, Bella. Bella, look. Look. We say hey Prince Squad. Say hey Prince Squad. But she don't really like y'all either. She don't like me and she don't like y'all. So I'm going to put her down. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, but um, this is the video that a lot of y'all probably been waiting on since y'all, if y'all saw the video from yesterday. So uh, I'm just going to uh, show y'all what's in the box. But first, I'm going to do a little talk and explain to y'all the whole situation. All right. All right, Prince Squad. Um... I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, the phone call that I live streamed the other day where I was on the phone with Hicks, you know, Hicks, Hicks Corporation. They make the heat presses like the, the one that I have and the one that I got when I first started, you know, they make heat presses. Good company as far as their equipment goes, the, you know, they make good equipment. Okay, so um, the thing that I want to talk to you about, if you was on that live stream, if you haven't seen that video, you have to check that video out right there. You know, y'all need to check that out first, and that way you won't be confusing. You'll kind of understand better why I am doing this video. Okay, the last week of May, I ordered a heat press from Hicks. Well, actually, I ordered it from Heat Press Nation because Hicks, if you go on their website, you can see that they don't actually sell their own products. They sell them on, you know, with other companies or through other companies. So I ordered the heat press. I got it like the beginning of May. I ordered the end of April, like that last week. Got it around the 1st or the 3rd of May. And the first day I got it, I wasn't able to get it out the box. My son was, you know, busy because he was doing football practice or whatever. They had, you know, they do the summer practicing and stuff. So um, I waited until the next day and I took it out the box and everything. And I set the press up and I noticed that it was damaged. It had a dent in the front. It had scraped off paint and stuff like that. So I contacted Hicks. Well, I, con for, I originally contacted Heat Press Nation and then um, they couldn't do anything about it. So they uh, referred me to contact Hicks. I contacted Hicks and uh, they emailed me and the guy was like, we can send you some paint. So I ended up calling the guy and I talked to the guy uh, wasn't nothing they was willing to do. A actually, I, th I think I called the guy. I don't even remember. I might not have called him. I might have just emailed. But basically, they wanted to do nothing to help me other than send paint. And it was, it's a dent in the front of the press. Y'all saw it. The paint, it was no paint. Like this plastic wrap right here that I just took off the other heat press. You know, if that paint was scraped off during shipping, I was thinking it would be some paint on here. That paint had already be off before I got the, you know, before I received the press, before they shipped the press. But anyway, um, I was having some other issues where it was like, I would hear a beep. Like I would set my press up, I would hear beeping. And like the, when you turn the press on, it beeps to let you know it's on. And then when it gets up to the right temperature, it'll beep again. But I would hear a beep and I would go, okay, I can go print my whatever I'm printing now. And I'd check the temperature and the temperature would not be the right temperature. So I was like, I don't know what's going on with this press. I don't know if I accidentally set it on more than one setting. Cause you can, with that press, you can set it to print, you know, like say you working with two or three different materials and they take different times and temperatures. You can set it differently like that, but I don't know how to do that. You know, I haven't even tried to do that. I just been setting it up as I go each time. So with it doing that, I set my camera up. And the same day I set my camera up, I actually called it and saw what it was doing. It was like going off and on while it was supposed to be heating up to the correct temperature, like cycling off and on. But the power switch was still on. It was still plugged in, but it was like 
you know going off and on and then it would beep and let you know that it came on again so that was what was going on so i contacted hicks if y'all want to know more about what happened check out the video live with hicks customer service i'll leave a link up there and down below but um but yeah so basically i talked to that guy we got off the phone so by the time it was uh i don't even know what time it was i would have to look back on my phone i but i had left the shop and i had came back to the shop and by the time i got back to the shop I got a phone call from an out of area number, you know, a number I didn't recognize. So I answered it and it was uh, the guy, I'm not even going to say the names, but you know, he's one of the head guys at Hicks, like a supervisor or whatever, who's over, you know, other people. And you know, he talked to me, he talked real good. I, uh, he told me he started out printing shirts with a, with a heat press and stuff like that. And he got into screen print, you know, we kind of had a little conversation and he was saying that uh, because of what happened, you know, he didn't really like what happened, how things was dealt with, because he hadn't been there long. You know, he's he had been there a few months or a couple of months, something like that. So he was gonna just ship me out a new press and they was gonna pay to return the other press. So here, here's where I am today and how I ended up getting there. I was happy about it. I, I expressed my appreciation to him and I, you know, I told him I appreciate him, you know, working with me and, and you know, trying to make sure that I'm satisfied, you know, but uh, on that, if y'all checked out the video that I did, you know, the, the live phone call part one, um, on there, y'all, actually, I think it was on part two where some of the print squad members were saying, Hey, give us the, uh, phone number. We'll call. So I put the phone number on there and you know, I, I believe that God intervenes in everything, you know, everything he has his hand in, he's in control of everything. So you know me giving though giving that i don't know if anybody called one person told me they did call and maybe some people call and maybe they had something to do with it but i feel like you know god intervenes god put things in in our heart to do at times and you know he uh i don't know how deep y'all are into the word but like with pharaoh you know pharaoh had a heart and heart and you know god wanted him to free the people of israel but he you know he had such a hard heart then God softened his heart and he ended up freeing them. But then before they could get all the way escaped from, you know, from him, they, he came after them or he sent his people after them again. And that was when the, you know, Moses parted the Red Sea. And, you know, if y'all want to get more of that, y'all can read the word for yourself. Cause it's always good to read the word for yourself. Even when you have a person telling you what the word is supposed to say, you know, but, um, basically, you know, I was happy and I thank any Prince Squad members that had anything to do with it. I thank God, you know, I'm, I'm appreciative that they, you know, trying to do right by me and they have not sent me the, uh, the tag yet so that I can ship the other one back. But, you know, I will be doing that as soon as they do. But yeah, that was basically what I wanted to, um, talk to you guys about before I actually let you see this video. But um, I appreciate y'all and anything that y'all did to help. And y'all leave your comments down below and let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. All right, but right here I have this box over here on the floor. Let me bring this down right here. And since I just uh, explained to y'all what went on, y'all already know what's in the box. So I'm gonna pull it out right here. The computer going off again. All right. So, let me see. What's in this box? All right. All right. I don't know if y'all can even see over in there. Let me lean it. I'm gonna say you can lean it like this, like lean it. Like there it is, right there. Um, they said this is actually an upgraded version of the other press that I have. Uh, it pretty much looks the same. It looks like it might have a better paint job than the other one, hopefully. Alright, so, uh, since I, last time, if y'all watched the first video, I already know this. You can't pick the press up by this. I, I was like, you know, I thought you could pick the press up by it. Alright, so, let me see. When we get this press out of here, we have to kick the box out the way and we can sit the press right here on the floor. I'm going to try to slide this down this way and we can get on. I'm going to 
each side, like right here. You can pick it up by the top if you like. All right. All right. So let me move this huge box out the way. Y'all know I'm cramped up in here. But soon, hopefully, we'll be in, in our own building. All right. All right, so this one is also wrapped in the plastic wrap like the other one. Go ahead and try to take all this off. I was more gentle last time, but trying to get it off. Let me get my blade. Thank you for your purchase. I didn't buy this. They just sent it to me. Last time I bought it. I don't even think they thanked me last time for buying it. Alright, but here it is. As y'all see, it's pretty much looks just like the other one, but it's not scraped up in the front. This one might actually be a new press. It's not scraped up in the front. As far as what I can see, looks pretty good. It's not as dusty as it was last time. Last time it was pretty dusty. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I guess move the other one and put this one in its place. But I'm gonna leave the board on there this time. I'm not gonna remove the board. But that's what we're about to do. You wouldn't think it would be that heavy. It's supposedly seventy pounds. Seven it. Mm -hmm. No, that's more than seven. 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 No, that's more than they don't. I'm going to wait about six months before I sell it. It's heavy than 60 pounds. 70 pounds or whatever they say. I'm going to go back here. Just no, oh, 70 pounds. On the other box, I think that's what it said on there. You got it. Yeah. Right. Them screws, they on here? Yeah, they on. Well, there's no screws. The ones in the middle. Okay, yeah. That's the front. You want to pull it forward or back? Uh, I'm gonna, I'll leave it like this for right now. I'll probably adjust it. I got them, I got them both set up right there. So, I'm gonna uh, compare them. All right, so I have the new press set up right here. Uh, I am kind of looking over it. Um, this one does have it. It seems like it's a little bit lighter colored than the other one. The other one seems like it's slightly darker or something. I don't know. The colors may be the same. It does not have the scraping markings in the front or any dents in the front. And also, um, something that I'm noticing, I'm going to kind of compare and let you guys see um, what I'm seeing. Like right here. Right here, I don't know if y'all can see, it's kind of indented right here. It's like a cutout and it's not, you know, you would expect it to be like a screen over it. This is the new press. And as y'all see, if y'all go back and check out the other video, I'll leave a link for it for y'all. This one is not as dusty. This one came with like a brown, uh, whatever this little felt like thing is. This one had a yellow one when it came in. And right here, as you see, this timer or whatever, the, the window, it's up closer. It does not have the glass over it, but it is up. It is up closer. This one is like it's pushed further back for some reason. I don't know. Like, as, if you see right here, my fingertip, I'm going to show you like this. Like, you can see how much of my finger goes down off in there. 
and on this one you can see that my finger don't go down in there like that so um that's kind of don't think I'm noticing on the old one as you see right here it had the stretch marks the dent right here or scrape marks I'm saying scratch marks it wasn't painted all that well like right here you can see bubble bubbles in the paint right there bubbles in the paint here scrape marks you know in different places I, I did videos on that y'all can kind of go back and check out and see if y'all want to so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and check this out right here okay so I'll just remove this it's just like a on this side it's like felt and it's like white kind of like a poster board on the opposite side and right here this is the I don't know this thing right here seems a little it's got a few little marks in it right there yeah I don't know what the deal is with that has a few little marks in it and this one I really can't even open this one right now because the other heat press is over there and I don't have a lot of room in here but I have this protective sheet on here so as you see this sheet thing actually looks a whole lot cleaner than the one over here I don't know this one I don't even know y'all this one kind of looks not really clean maybe this one is a refurbished one and then here's another thing I noticed you see how that is kind of buckled out right there if you look at this one that part is more flat as you see right here it's more flat but when you come here there's like a space in between there where you can put your finger right here right here you can't put your finger under there without lifting that up but here for some reason there is a space for your finger not sure exactly why it's a space for your finger there I don't know maybe it just didn't mold away or you know it's supposed to be closer that way I don't know well hopefully everything works out with this one okay let me check this out on this one okay it looks like it's still gonna have a pretty sharp card on this one let me uh take this off I'm trying to do it one hand it is a bit challenging okay so bring this around here swing that over and as you see right here plug it into the wall actually I'm gonna plug it on this side of it plug this into the wall and I have my let me see have my little nail up here so that I don't know this card seems shorter than the other card or something this card seems a lot shorter than the other card yeah cuz I had it maybe I had it on that nail but yeah let me let me put this back on the tripod yeah okay this thing right here I don't really like how this has like different markings and stuff on it let me see if I can show it to you guys. Like, I don't know, it has like markings and stuff on it right here. And you can actually feel, it feels like it's got some stuff on it. Like right here. I don't know what that is. It just feels like some grit or something right there. Yeah, so I'm just wiping that off. okay so I'm looking under here I'm looking let me just take this camera back off I'm sorry because I'm just comparing comparing and I'm checking this out right here and this part right here hopefully y'all can see that let me try to get it right there but it's I don't know I see this little part hanging off right here on this other one I don't believe it's hanging off like that well yes it is guess that's just me being nitpicky but I'm gonna go ahead and take this off actually once I move this out the way I can turn this one a little bit more up oh, but it's gonna want to flip over because I don't have it on here good all right but 
this is the old press right here and you can see let me take this protective covering off all right as you can see right here this pad is more clean looking and stuff as you see it looks more clean and dark compared to the other pad okay as you see right here it looks more clean it's got like a little blemish right there but it's not really anything serious so all right i got this one over here this pad i don't really like how it looks i don't know if y'all can tell on the video but it's got all kind of little marks on it like right there got some little marks on it stuff like that okay looking right here at this part right there just i don't know this may be being kind of nitpicky just kind of checking around but after you've been what i've been through with this press then right here that looks like it's a little scrape or it's coming off i guess that's like some glue from where they glued that part down yeah so i'm gonna put this protective covering on the new one Yeah, and I don't really like this uh, covering thing that I got either. I talked about that in the last video. But yeah, that's the protective covering on it. All right, so now what I'm going to do is turn it on and see what happens. If y'all watched the other video, y'all saw what happens when you turn it on. All right. So let me see what temperature they got it on. And this is actually, I don't know y'all. This, let me zoom in on it so y'all can see. Cause I, I want to make sure y'all can see and I'm not being nitpicky. Like when I'm pressing this, it's actually giving. It's like going in right here. And I'm not pressing it hard. I'm just like, you know, right here. Right here, as you see, when I press it, let me see. Can y'all see that it's giving? And I'm not pressing it hard or anything, but it goes in a little bit. And this one does not. Like right here, when I'm pressing it, it's pretty firm in this spot. I mean, it you know, it moves slightly. You can see it because it's kind of plastic or whatever. But this one, I don't know. This thing. It seems like it gives more. Okay, it's trying to get up to 380 degrees. It's trying to get up to 380 degrees. Let me... I don't know, y'all. It's just giving a little bit for me. Let me put it on 320. There it was. All right, three twenty one. Okay, but yeah, I I don't know about this part. And then I'm put it on fifteen seconds. But it y'all can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can or not. I don't know and I, I don't like to be nitpicky y'all I really don't I was very appreciative that they did decide to go ahead and send me a press I was very appreciative of that but this right here this window it's not it's more firm right here it's not really going in like this one right here I mean I don't like how that is I don't know y'all and I don't I hate to be nitpicky I really do I mean I don't like being nitpicky about stuff even when they did this 
and on the phone when they told uh, with this press you know they tried to do nothing about it with that I wasn't happy with the situation but and when I was having the issues with the press and um and they told me that they was gonna send me the parts I didn't complain although that wasn't what I wanted I did express how I felt about it but I wasn't like look y'all y'all sorry y'all ain't trying to do nothing you know I was like okay and I was just gonna have to get somebody to put that part on for me but I don't really like how this this glass window is y'all it I don't know I'm gonna have to uh, I'm probably talk to the guy about that and try to see what can be done because I don't like that and I don't I really don't want to be nitpicky at all because that's not me that's not the way I am if I go to a restaurant and the stuff is not the perfect way I still deal with it because you know you don't want to um, have beef with people you know at restaurants and stuff like that they dealing with your food and I don't want to have beef with these people I you know when I first got my press I really wanted to endorse Hicks because I had no issues with that press and and that's how I got into the business and was able to get to where I am now you know because of that first heat press I hadn't been too long got the newer press and you know if I would have bought like a China press or some other off-brand press it probably would have went out on me a couple of times but I got that Hicks and I was able to uh, work with it for over 10 years and you know I'm where I am today because of that first press but I don't know I don't really like I feel like this is kind of flimsy right there you know and then um, the one over here is more sturdy and I don't know they said it was a this press was gonna be a more upgraded version you know it's a few little things I don't really uh, like like on this side it's flat on this other side I showed y'all how it's kind of puckering out or something I don't know y'all but I don't know I'm just uh, talk to God about it tonight and try to see you know what I can do or what I need to do because I honestly don't want to be nitpicky but the sixteen hundred dollars for a press to me is a lot because it's a it's press is the first one I got was about a thousand dollars cheaper than this that first press I got the 15 by 15 was like about 700 or seven something so I don't know all right Prince squad that's all I have for you today if you like the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos and also I have the t-shirt chick red channel where I do giveaways and live streams if you're interested in that at the end of this video you can hit the uh, hit the red logo click on that and subscribe to the t-shirt chick red channel or the t-shirt chick live channel I like to refer to them as the red and the green channel you know that uh, kind of brings down confusion and I appreciate y'all watching and if you're interested in any other products or equipment that I use to print t-shirts check down below this video in the description box I try to always leave links for you guys and I will see you in the next video print squad out